Who was the first guy to like wear it to the side? Mark McGrath. Ooh. Was it really? <laughs> no. What about uh, MC Hammer? Like one of those guys. MC Hammer. MC Hammer. I know where she's going with MC it. Yeah. Hammer, it seems very... MC wearing MC Hammer wearing hats. He was wearing like, like the Fresh Prince wore his head like that. Up? He was wearing like Zuba pants. I feel like, yeah. First person to wear sideways hat. Yeah. Nobody was doing it up in 50s, 60s, 70s, no 80s. Uh, definitely in the 40s. <laughs> no one in the no, 40s. Was baseball hats were even around. 30s. I guess they were the, the baseball flappers. hats. When did people start wearing their hats sideways? As a cap became mainstream, men and women began to play with the style, turning it backwards or sideways as a symbol of personal expression. The headgear was adopted by musicians from rappers to punk rockers and grunge singers in the 1990s to pop stars and the MTV generation in the 2000s. But who was the first? That's what I said. MC Hammer. So there's not a photo of someone in 1979 like this. No. When was MC Hammer wearing a hat? 1989. 19, 1989. But I do have an interesting fact. What's the up? The backwards cap was first worn on the baseball field by catchers to keep yeah. the brim of the hat out of their way. That makes oh. sense. Obviously. But that's crazy that they're the first people to like, do that. Yeah, like the baseball like, that hats sick. invented just for baseball players to be able to like catch the ball and not have the sun in their eyes. Like, is that Honestly, why this type that, of hat was invented? that really makes sense. <laughs> the American sport. Because back in the twenties, everyone was wearing like, but what about top like... hats? <laughs> we all yeah, know and, that like, stuff. and like the the Kangol like but I newsboy like, hat. Uh, but I feel like on oh, yeah. hard hats there was like a bit of a brim. News newsboy hats had it like right here. Ah, step rider. Like I feel like <laughs> extra, they wore them. Extra, read all about it. <laughs> there was baseball then though. Yeah, but I feel like they were they were like, like so 20s. flat. I own too many hats now that I'm sorry. Well, yeah, you I just still moved wear, in. You wear the same one every week. Because I like <laughs> this one. Wait, which one am I wearing? The same like, one it's you a always new wear. One. Not every not every week, but for the past month or two, I have. There's <laughs> what? There's one Can episode I not... where someone said like, "Oh, Matt, I haven't seen you wear the sweater before," and you go, "Oh, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me." <laughs> <laughs> what? I you're think like so. so excited that someone called out that you're wearing something new. I know. I'm all because I'm always paranoid that like I've worn it before. No, it's tough. It's really but tough. Like then at some For point, I don't want to be Who seen as like fifty different shirts. I don't think I I've do. ever worn the same thing on this show. Yeah. I'm out of clothes. <laughs> I know I am too. I think I just like pick sweatshirts. Yeah, but like for me, it's fun. I'm like, ooh, what haven't I worn? And then it kind of makes me pick something from my closet that's just been like collecting dust. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, I wear this finally. The stuff that I have in my closet that's been collecting dust will be shunned in this room. I saw a really <laughs> good TikTok. A way that a girl gets rid of her clothes every year is she flips that. This is like I could never do this because it like. Not that I have OCD, but like like organization vibes. Uh, no, it would just like really bother me. Is so at the beginning of the year, she puts all of her hangers the same way, and then when she wears an item, she flips the hanger the other way. Yep. So then whatever items are still facing the same way when the year started, she gets rid of them. That's yeah, smart. That's how you know what you haven't worn in over a yeah. year. Yeah. But see, I would do that, and at the end of the year, I'd still be like, "Well, I might wear it." <laughs> no, uh, I know. I just would just get lazy, kind of. It would make yeah. me so I couldn't do the whole. The, all the hangers have to be the same way. Yeah. Oh. Really? Really? Yeah. Do you have all the same hangers too? For the most part, yeah. Oh my! It's I have an assortment. I have same. dry cleaner really metal nilly. ones. I have no, plastic ones. I have too, fuzzy ones. Too. The dry cleaner ones go immediately into the trash. I hate the ones with the fuzz on them. Oh, that's what I have. Those oh. the new ones. The fuzz. Yeah, they're, 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 like, yeah but that's fancy. yeah, they're like soft. Like how you have to oh, buy the felt, them now. like felt. Well, it's nice yeah. if you have like a lot like of like those. nice they, shirts they or like stick. dresses because then like I have a lot of silk dresses or like satin dresses and so they won't <laughs> slip off the hanger. Yeah, because yeah. it like clings. To that's it. what I like about it. Too. Yeah, yeah, um, Mike. Or certain shirts won't <laughs> fall off. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Welcome to Good Influences. I am Matt. This is Aaron, and then there's Mike, and also Carly. Also We're all here. Me. First off, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Thank you so much if you've been sticking with us since day one. And hey, if you haven't been sticking with us since day one, then after this really great episode, go listen and watch and listen to all the other all episodes of every single one you have a year's worth comment That's down true. below what your favorite one is leave a review and i just want to say thank you thank you from the bottom of our hearts for always taking with us because we love doing this for you guys and i love you guys as <laughs> and, my and for us. fellow co-hosts <laughs> it's fun um, for us as well. and let us know what episodes we should do because we would love to know what topics you guys would like to hear yeah. us talk about. Yeah. Should we, we should do a politics episode also. I was thinking that. Oh my God. People would love that. <laughs> oh yeah, it'd be great. The comments on every episode, stop talking about politics. We need, if we do a politics one, I think we need like a guest on it. Like Hassan Piker? 
Donald yes, even Trump. though I think I would like Donald listen. Trump is live from jail, everybody. <laughs> no, I think we need like a, like a libertarian on. Uh, okay, we should not talk about politics. <laughs> no, just to like spice it up with like a little bit of weight. A bunch of just wrong. We could do like a half and half politics, religion. Ooh. Oh, there we just go. Just offend now everybody alive. That would be like a really good episode. <laughs> the two we're... hot points that people get really upset with us about Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> She have would, her on. She would probably she come. Do, so. She's so sweet. Could, she, <laughs> oh my she god, my heart like dropped for a second. <laughs> Why would I think that? She is well, so scary. <laughs> um, maybe we could get her daughter. She has Ew. a daughter. Was that? Uh, oh no, that was. Um, oh, was it Marjorie or Anne? Uh, it was. Um, Lauren Con- Bobert, another no, white call- woman. Callaway. Callaway, who was the Kellyanne Conway? Yeah. Conway, yes. yes. Oh, her daughter's like an influencer, right? Well, she like it was like a whole thing on TikTok. She oh, was like exposing her mom. Yeah, that was true. She and was, her like, dad. yelling at her. Yeah. They got divorced. Yes, like. Yeah, she I wonder was... what the girl's up to. Anyways, we'll get. It was a very like, <laughs> were you silent or were you silenced silent? situation? Because you kind of j- from were you silent? Oprah, Oprah interviewing Meghan Markle. Were you silent or were, were you, you silenced? silenced? No, I was on Suits. <laughs> like <laughs> great show i loved suits like, i didn't like suits oh, i mean that's too tracks. easy too easy that's the point it's like you a don't like anything show. that is like just challenge fun. me <laughs> give me just something with some weight makes me think did you watch um what you're oh, telling that, me that you that know L-line? all of the law jargon no i don't <laughs> I, don't, I <laughs> like when things i can't understand no, i get things. what you're saying it, it is it's there's like no... when you can't suits is, understand suits is things? written for 14 year olds yeah like, that's why it's, it's like we gotta go to the business meeting and hopefully <laughs> land the presentation like that's it no. is this how people talk <laughs> how many episodes did you watch Two, but I got it. And when I see no. clips, I'm like, this is for this is for people like man, that's fancy life. <laughs> They're going in there. Man, I wish I could wear suits. They're busy. All what offense are the, to the southern sh- people who don't wear suits. All offense? No, no offense. <laughs> all offense. Oh gosh. That's just so that is Have you seen Severance? Severance, oh, oh so Severance. Like Severance is almost too deep sometimes. It's really dark, but I'm thinking, uh, it's so good. That was a good one, yeah. yeah. What dark Sorry, shows I didn't that mean, you like? Hold on, I didn't mean to offend anybody no. about my opinion about suits. <laughs> it's just not enough. <laughs> you just, I just don't think that you like a lot of things because... <laughs> and I think that's fair to say. I like a lot of things. No, There's but just like some things, things I don't like no, I, strongly. I think that there are a lot of things that you don't like because you're not like intellectually stimulated enough. And a lot of people, that's why they like them because it's just like easy watching. That's like entertaining. It feels like fast food entertainment. Like it feels just like McDonald's. Like I'm getting just a hamburger cheese going like. <laughs> yeah, delicious. It, it's yeah, so. The best. It Yum. just feels fast food. <laughs> food and i don't i feel like i wasted time and i got like a cheap version of like a a side like it's like just a sideshow gagging gig like <laughs> so you don't it's like someone the- busking it, or it's like it's so cheap it's just it's a hack it's something that fools you going la da 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 <laughs> you it's so gone. two episodes <laughs> I don't Did you even get to the part where they hire the young guy who like has a photographic memory? Yes, he comes in and he says all that Mike. stuff. He memorized His everything. Name's Mike. Oh yeah, and he yes. like he pretended that he went. Wait, to Wait, did you watch it? Yeah, I've seen every episode. Do you like it? I loved it. Oh okay. But Perfect. I was also like, I think it was like in college when it came out. Yeah, it was like a yes. young. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's for like yeah it's it's meant if you're folding laundry you put on suits. Yes. You're not sitting there like holy but shit. But I feel everybody. like that's most TV. <laughs> like most TV isn't like groundbreaking. No, but breaking. Matt wants to watch a no, show that's I'm like turn aware. the lights off, turn my phone off. Like I need to yeah, get involved. Severance. And once again, everybody can watch what they want to watch. <laughs> this is just my no, opinion. I, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I don't want to offend anybody. No, so you and I don't want okay. people to get angry with we me. Can end the because I just story. value my yeah. time. You don't have to apologize for having your opinion. It's just funny. You don't like the fast food like surface level you know basically like throwaway content right no. yeah you listen to taylor swift oh my <laughs> how dare you god mike you're just Here digging yourself go. in the biggest hole dude that is grave. i Dig would never grave. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is almost as bad as Sandoval saying she kept her shirt, her shirt on. Oh, that was really cringe. That was really cringe. You'll watch that. Just learn <laughs> just learn Vanderpump Rules is a Bravo show, not an MTV show. What? Oh, that's offensive on its own. Only, what, MTV show? It they only have Teen have... Mom and Ridiculousness. I, I thought no, it was that, a... that sounds like an MTV show. 
Vanderpump Rules. Like I'm a in the year 2023. Rules. But that's not what it is. Oh, Vanderpump Rules. That's what I always think of. Real World, world, <laughs> world, really world Rules Challenge. Yeah. Bring that back. That's Don't they have it? They do like a... It's... Inferno stuff, but it's like... But Road Rules, real... I don't think Road Rules is on TV anymore. No, I, I thought that they did like a... They like brought them together recently. And it was like people from Real yeah, World like cha- and the Road challenge Rules. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the challenge. Gauntlet, the Inferno. There's a couple of comedians oh, wow. that came from Road Rules. Like, uh, Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn was on was Road Rules. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. And Christina Pavinsky, who's Tom. Was he funny on Road Rules or was he just like, yeah. I would like to watch that know. season. Yeah. Just funny. to see what a young Theo was up to. And Christina, who's Pazinski. married to. Oh, oh Pavinsky? Pazinski. Pazinski. Married Lewinsky. to Tom Segura. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. oh, I'm thinking of Esther. That's why I said her last name. Like oh, that. little Esther. Little Esther. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, there's a couple of comedians that were on. So the show. on this episode, we're playing. Am I the asshole? <laughs> we're playing. Am I the asshole for not liking suits? Television. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. I don't think I'm an asshole. I think Matt I'm is just, so I'm, mean. I'm a pretentious yeah. he asshole. Like suits. Call me pretentious. I just. All right. I don't. Not, not it's my... okay to have an opinion, brother. I know. Yeah. I just feel like I, I hurt people's feelings. I don't like Taylor Swift. And people really took offense to that. See, that hurts our podcast when you say mm-hmm. things like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. We lose followers. <laughs> yeah. We lose money. He's allowed to slander suits. That's fine. Okay. Oh, the suits army coming <laughs> after me. Sure. <laughs> the Meghan Markle maniac. I create dude. a fake account and go on our YouTube comments. And I'm like, Matt is so pretentious. I agree, though. If I listened to me, I'd be like, get a load of this guy. <laughs> okay, This I, guy is full of him. So I was on Reddit the other day trying to find Am I the Assholes for this. I mean, I found some, but Reddit was on like a strike, kind yes. of like the writer's strike. And so all the subreddits were like, for locked. Redditors? Well, well dude, it's not a writer's strike. It's not. It's yeah, maybe it has. <laughs> the Redditors are going on strike because Reddit has been implementing like third party uh, apps. A, a lot of. Yeah. What did you say? Third party apps. Third party apps. They're messing around with their price points and stuff and so a lot of these people who are moderators of the subreddits have decided to lock the communities and make them only a membership based thing so you can't go in and like view a lot but of just stuff. for like a couple post. days just for to a like days. it was like a protest it. but yeah basically yes what you said right now there's other apps that you can access reddit with there's one called apollo there's one called something else and in order to access reddit you have to pay reddit servers like that's crazy you know 0.003 cents for every thousand times you ping their server and they have raised their prices by fourteen thousand percent or some insane number and basically what they're trying to do is make sure that the only reddit app you can use is the official reddit app i didn't know there were other ones i've only used the official reddit one so there's like hardcore reddit users that will use these third-party apps they have other features like you know you can the photos are better and video player is better and the main thing is that the ads are served from reddit i saw someone was like the ads on the reddit app are horrible and like yeah. all over the place but like i literally see one every people are just like 10 minutes it. i know i'm like i don't you just you also just scroll past it and it's not like it plays and you have to wait like right. a game or something i don't it's really spend weird. much time on reddit i just spend a lot of my free time watching suits, so. <laughs> <laughs> Like right instantly, that's what I was thinking you were gonna say. Uh, Aaron yeah. the suits stand. I, I love that show. My mom and dad love suits too. My mom no, it's loves. Okay, we suits. don't have to go back. To suits. Uh, all right. Anyways, um, so, but there is, if for the people who don't know, there's a subreddit called "Am I the Asshole?" where tons of users submit um a question and a story. The, with the moral dilemma, am I the asshole? And, and the Redditors will comment, you are the asshole or you are not the asshole. Or, or, or everyone, everyone sucks, sucks here. Maybe you can click on that and then just see all the everyone sucks oh. options. Yes, how do you think you pick? Or do, uh, do none of y'all do that when we pick these? I, I usually like try no. to look for controversial ones. I'll look I, for like yeah. compilations or... I'll just like when you had an idea last time where you typed in a word. I just type in a random word oh. and then I read those. I typed in Jewish, but then I'm I like, typed in Jewish <laughs> today. <laughs> I typed in Jewish today. But I feel like that one, it'd be like too easy. Like, <laughs> there was a one where like uh, everyone My roommate sucks. has a swastika tattoo on, on his forehead and I think that's inappropriate. Not the asshole. Yeah. Oh my God. So like, okay. Someone was like, am I, am I, am I the asshole for <laughs> wearing like a Hanukkah sweater and going around saying Yiddish phrases? <laughs> even if I'm not Jewish, what and it was like it, it was like it was no. like everyone sucks in this situation. Yeah. Everyone sucks. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people also get offended on behalf of other people. Yeah, which is really silly. It's like but... a big thing. Yeah, 
Okay, who wants to start? Um, I can start. Okay, Carly, let's hear it. Okay, Matt, I will read it. <laughs> Am I the asshole because I'm overwatering my coworkers' plants? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and like say. oh she's over watering them or over I don't know having to water well, them. Oh, we need great more question. We'll get let's there. Let's eat grandma. Let's eat grandma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so dumb. <laughs> Commas matter. This show is sponsored by Lumi. Want to smell better naked? Let's face it, our underarms aren't the only place we have odor. That's why I'm excited to tell you about Lumi, whole body deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. Lumi was created by an OBGYN who discovered and proved in clinical testing that the vagina is not to blame for day-to-day -day odor below the belt. So she developed Lumi, a uniquely formulated pH balanced deodorant. It's aluminum free, skin safe, and clinically proven to control odor for up to 72 hours. Lumi sent deodorant and the body wipes. And I will say when I was in the hospital when I had my appendectomy, the body wipes came in such handy. I had my boyfriend bring them because they wouldn't allow me to take a shower. I was only there for like two days, but I really d was disgusted by like having surgery and just being in a hospital. And the Lumi body wipes were amazing. I also use a deodorant before I go on my walks or Pilates. It's one of the only deodorants that doesn't make me feel like I'm sweating more, if that makes sense. I really, really enjoy it. Lumi has a starter pack that's perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. As a special offer for our listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code GOOD at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code good. I am an office admin. One of my duties is to water the office plants, including- <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, Mike, enough. shut the fuck up. Enough. I am an office madman. A madman. <laughs> A madman. Suits. <laughs> <laughs> I want suits in my office all day. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and restart it. Just so uh, restart suits? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You can watch anything. Go watch Mad Men. It's a no, let's I'm down. You wanna start suits yes. together and just like talk about it? Yes. We start a suits podcast. <laughs> and, uh, Forgetting and not, every episode. Aaron, do you wanna start a suits rewatch podcast? Yes. <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> Post it on this YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just suits. You guys reacting Aaron, in the corner. Suits rewatch. Suits sluts. <laughs> Zoot suit riot. It's right. yeah, like a reaction channel. It's like suits. Oh, and then we you just guys... play the episode and we're like, oh wait, it's coming up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. Wow. Okay. Usa. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm an office admin. One of my duties is to water the office plants, including coworkers' <laughs> personal plants. Most people with more than two most people with more than two plants water their own, except for Tanya. Tanya oh. has ten plus plants. <laughs> Every time one of her spider plants produces babies, she pots these and adds them to her collection, which means more trips up and down the stairs for me to refill my watering can. <laughs> then Tanya, sorry, that's just like shaking his head. I'm already laughing. Yeah, like killing her name is Tanya. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that's this tracks for a Tanya. Then Tanya started insisting I use purified water, so I started carrying up a second, smaller watering can just for her plants. How is this someone's job? Yeah, this is She's annoying an office already. admin. <laughs> like, I wanted to politely tell Tanya to take care of her own plants, but my yeah. manager did not permit me to at the time. Then Tanya started checking the temperature of the water I was using. I left my watering can near Tanya's desk while I attended I attended to another duty. Tanya picked up my watering can <laughs> and walked by me without saying a word. When I let her know I needed to finish watering, she insisted on taking my can away to change out the water. I was <laughs> unable to finish my work upstairs until X returned my watering can. At least this time, she watered her own plants before giving the can back to me. I was done catering to Tanya and her plants. My manager finally permitted me to tell Tanya that. I sent her an email letting her know as I did not think she would take the news well the next day tanya gave me the silent treatment honestly it was a relief tanya wants me to acknowledge her every time she walks past my desk which is six <laughs> or more times a day even when i am on the phone however i am feeling pretty guilty about the way i handled the plant situation am i the asshole no. definitely not no you're not the asshole <laughs> 10 plants is too many that's Go. crazy there should be there should be 10 plants in the whole office maximum yeah, yeah. for a desk like how do you see your computer yeah, unless it's... you're working at like a botanical garden yeah yeah, yeah. like I, that's, that's so unnecessary yeah. Also, like, being an office admin, I don't, I don't think that watering other people's no. plants falls under your responsibility. No, apparently for her it does. Very weird. This is a weird workplace. One of my duties I would is like to, to know people's... where she works. I know. Probably like a like a like an accounting firm or something in like Nebraska. No offense. 
Well, everyone deemed her the asshole. <gasps> what? No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Could you imagine, though? <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised because we did this the other day yeah. on one of our bonus episodes. And like Carly and I to every single one were like, not the asshole. And the people were like, asshole. Oh, yeah, it was weird. I was like, I it's always like jarring when you have such an opinion and you read like, oh, obviously it's this. Yeah. And then all the responses are opposite. And you're like, wait, am I wrong? Yeah. So I, I think you should yeah. go print out the subreddit, staple it, and go <laughs> it to and Tom. put it on Hello, Tanya. I'm acknowledging desk. you walking by. Yeah. Here is your... Tanya just sounds like small town power trip, like, job woman. Like, you know that woman in the office that's just like, oh... Yeah, she went up to happy hour with the rest of the coworkers. was like, can you believe yes. what is she a, did yes. this to me? What is a spider plant? Is know. that the one that, like, sticks straight up? I don't know. It really creeped me out how it had babies. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, those are weird spider phrases. Spider plants, I think, like, are the ones that are, like, pokey and stick straight I think you're up. right, with a little yellow. Yes, but, like, how does they sprout babies on a spider plant? Maybe just, like, Did a new leaf? Spider-Man across the <laughs> Spider-Verse? Spider yeah, plant no, across the universe. I have. It looks like this. Good, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they sprout babies? I don't know. That looks oh, look, tacky. Look, look, look. Tanya, that looks tacky. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. See? Tanya. Oh. You're just buy this fake one on Amazon. It's only $52, Tan. Am I the asshole for participating in my neighborhood's Easter egg hunt that was meant for children? <laughs> <laughs> what did you search for this one? Easter? <laughs> hunt. Eggs. Eggs? <laughs> okay. Okay. I, 25 female, have always loved Easter, and my family would participate in egg hunts every year as I was growing up. I also love Easter candy, which makes the hunt even more fun for me. <laughs> I recently moved to a new city with my partner, 25 male, and we saw that our neighborhood association was throwing an Easter egg extravaganza. <laughs> we thought this would be a good opportunity to get more involved in the community, so we signed up to volunteer. I asked the president of the association if I could also <laughs> sign up for the Easter egg hunt due to my love for the holiday, and she said it would be fine. Turns out nobody above the age of ten had signed up, <laughs> though I thought it should. Uh, though I thought it should be okay, as if there were like seven, as if there were like seventy kids participating. So my presence, but so my presence wasn't super obvious. A lot of the kids. Parents were staring at me by this point, but I brushed it off. <laughs> when the hunt began, I didn't mean to go too crazy. But after I filled my basket, then looked back, my path was marked by a clear swath of eggless grass. Some of the kids definitely didn't get as much candy as me, but everyone seemed happy enough. As I made my way back to my partner, though, the parents were making comments that they knew I would overhear about the egg hunt. How about how the egg one was for their children? <laughs> My partner suggested I give back some of the eggs, and so I returned some to the kids who were nearby until enough parents <laughs> seemed to be off my back. <laughs> However, I didn't want to give every kid an egg because that would take too long and I would basically be out. Nobody else seemed to, uh, s s nobody said anything before we left, but in the weeks since, I've seen some of the parents and they've been uh, much cold toward me. Yeah, this person's a full blown psychopath. Yeah, <laughs> Just I absolute. I would feel so weird. Could you Easter imagine kind of if like Patricia kids? was like, "Mad, I'm gonna join this Easter egg hunt," and then like took it from all these children, yeah. and then and then would return those, like, them kids without eggs? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna give them all back, <laughs> Patricia. <they're laughs> eggs. Yeah. yeah. She's like, "Fuck you guys." Yeah, no, this I'm woman's crazy. Eggs. Not not Patricia. The this yes. woman. Yeah, I was only <laughs> saying Patricia, Patricia this, because it, be... it was a female who was doing it. Uh, also. Buy your own fucking eggs. Yeah. Give them all Go back to the, to the candy kids. store. You're competing. Yeah. No one over the age of 10 is also psychotic. If it was like no one over the age like of 15. Like an adult one or something. Or like 18. It's for the kids. But it, you're talking to seven year olds. Yeah. yeah. If you want to do it so bad, just like have your boyfriend or husband or whatever set up an Easter egg hunt for you and do it that way. Yeah. Fun. What and have them put money in them. <laughs> it's been like the one or two. Responses. She was she the asshole. Oh yeah, she was the asshole for okay. sure. Um, it's like everybody it's... sucks. <laughs> just the... <laughs> the kids kind of suck for not letting. Yeah. 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 So poor everybody kids. sucks. I just think it's so funny they moved into a new neighborhood. Oh, and that's <laughs> like, her first impression. Yeah. yeah and God. now everyone's gonna always remember her for that one thing. Like the fact that she gave back some and not others. That's where I'm like, okay, you're you're yeah. crazy. Not person. all kids deserved them. <laughs> Give them all. You're 25. <laughs> Have you ever done an Easter egg hunt? Would you? Like I don't know. as a kid or anything? No. He's Jewish. He's Jewish. I know, but I just didn't know. I didn't say it. I, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be the Easter 
bunny once at like our neighborhood easter egg and i was like so short i don't know what what my mom was thinking but i was probably like four foot tall in this like easter bunny costume (laughs) and i was the one like hugging children oh Oh my god yeah i have an easter egg or an easter bunny costume in my (laughs) oh yeah from that brand deal yeah what was it you should wear it for the easter episode Huh? You should wear it for the Easter episode. Are we doing an Easter no, episode? I don't know. <laughs> it's past. You know what I do yeah, love? We... I love a, j- a jello egg. A... Oh, I loved those. Did you ever swallow yes, them whole? Put the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe, what? Maybe. It was like it a was, whole it was thing like with people. It was like yes. a choking as You just yes. want to go. That would <laughs> be like a thing on like Vine and TikTok that people yes. would do. Like the cinnamon challenge, but the like swallow the Easter egg whole challenge. Oh, can we make some of those? I want I some love... orange jello. Sounds so oh. good. Yeah. How do you make jello? Is it just. It's the gelatin and water, I think. What a weird food. It's I like know. see-through. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> no other food is see through. Dude, orange jello is like so good. Hold on. Yeah. Is there any other food that you can see through? Water. Uh. No, this is kind what of. What do sick. you mean? Well, like, like a uh, uh, a food. Yeah. Jello is pretty Im- impressive. Can you see through <laughs> jello? Yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. Course. Not like you can see. You can like hold it up, and if it's like yeah, a like nice think shape. of the office, like the stapler it's inside of it. Wow, that can't be good for you if it's translucent food. <laughs> you can see through a cracker through the tiny little yeah, holes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Is there Romantic. nothing else you can see through? I'm like really trying to think. Like any that. other food that's that's translucent. I'm thinking like a fruit or something. Comment and... down below, guys. Yeah, <laughs> people are gonna be like, "You're so dumb." Yeah, <laughs> list like a thousand. Okay. Or nothing. Oh, you, you can oh. see. Oh, okay, you can see through a fruit roll up. Not really. I don't think you can. Mm, yeah, you have to stretch it. You have to stretch it. Um, Jolly Rancher. No, you lollipop. Can't. It depends bit. how light it is, but yeah. maybe. Okay. It's like a it's, yeah. This episode is sponsored by Ghost Bed. Are you ready to experience the most restful and rejuvenating sleep of your life? Then look no further than Ghost Bed, the family-owned business that's been making mattresses for over 20 years. Ghost Bed is the maker of the coolest bed in the world, featuring their signature and patented cooling materials. No more flipping pillows to find the cool side or waking up in a sweat. Ghostbed keeps you cool and comfortable all night long. And here's the best part, Ghostbed doesn't cut corners when it comes to quality. They use only the highest quality materials to create your most supportive mattress. Say goodbye to restless nights and hello to deep, uninterrupted sleep. Worried about making the right choice? Don't be. Ghostbed offers a 101 day sleep trial so you can try their mattress risk free. And most products ship within 24 hours so you won't have to wait long to start sleeping better. They have a team of sleep experts standing by ready to help you find the perfect fit for your needs. So why wait? Upgrade your sleep experience with Ghostbed today. Visit ghostbed.com slash good to transform your nights. For a limited time, use code good, G-O-O-D, for 40% off your purchase site-wide. And now back to the episode. I haven't read this one, but I just read the title and I thought that was funny. So I'll be reading this for the first time. Oh boy. If it's not great. Am I the asshole for calling my step cousin a jealous bitch because I said, because she said I get everything because of quote Nepo privilege. Wait, I'm sorry. I know it's an insane sentence. Am I the asshole for calling my step cousin a jealous bitch because she said that I get everything because of Nepo privilege. Who's your dad? Yeah, That's what I want to know. So my step cousin, Named Leah, named Leah for this post. My step cousin and I are in the same field. We work at a company that is co-owned by my boyfriend's dad. To put mm. it simply, Leah is jealous. She thinks that I don't deserve to be there and I get everything handed to me. I am a hard worker and get a promo- and got a promotion recently, which set her off even more. Both of us had actually been applying to some other jobs as well. She got one of them, so she's going to move out of state soon. I also got an offer but decided to stay here because of the promotion. We had a family potluck over the weekend, and of course a lot of them had heard about my promotion and were congratulating me. Leah was there, and she seemed fine throughout the night, but at one point her aunt, or sorry, but at one point my aunt, her stepmom, said something about how proud everyone is of me for being so successful in a traditionally man's field. I just said thanks and told her I'd gotten an offer from another place but decided to stay, and I'm happy that I have options for what I want to do. Leah overheard this and came to me and said, it's not about your options, but your nepo privilege, and how she got a new job too, but everyone's kissing your ass. I had enough at that point and just t- and told her to stop acting like a jealous bitch and focus on herself instead. She got upset and stormed off. Am I the asshole? No. Um, I don't think you should. I don't think you should have used the phrase. Yeah, I think jealous it's kind of like bitch. everyone sucks. 
that me yeah this sounds like an everyone sucks yeah yeah because like i could get why it would be frustrating it, i mean she even said she got a job at another place so it's not like she's like only getting this privilege because of her boyfriend's dad like yeah. other places like, want her to work at, at her there job. yeah so that could be like a little <laughs> mean but also the step cousin of like telling her like oh everyone's just congratulating you because you're in a man's field like that's jealous she's a jealous she kind of is being yeah. like, kind of wait, jealous didn't the, i thought the aunt said that oh i think you might be right hold on <clears throat> oh leah said it's not about your options it's about your nepo privilege yeah and she got <laughs> okay, a new but job it is too, about everyone's options. kissing your ass yeah don't just complain to me that you're upset that everyone's <laughs> congratulating me that i got a sick job yeah you also got a sick else. job yeah Mm. Jealousy is a disease. But calling someone a bitch. jealous bitch is just like there's just no reason to do that. Y you lose a lot of like. Yeah, you could say, "Hey, credit. look, I'm sorry that like people are congratulating me. I'm so happy for you that you got a job totally. too. Like we're both crushing it. This is great." Don't call her. Yeah, don't don't call anyone. You should have like paused after she said it, squinted, and said, <laughs> "Are you okay?" I feel like it was truly what like her that? inner thoughts because she was probably so mad yeah. that she was like, "You're a jealous bitch." Yeah. They both, it's not an appropriate thing to respond, and it was never an appropriate thing for her cousin to say in front of their also, whole family. And it doesn't sound classy. M it doesn't sound classy. <laughs> and maybe this girl who if you're wrote pulling, this. If you're pulling in like that much money now off classy. your Nepo privilege, and you're going around going, well, don't be it's such a jealous bitch of me. <laughs> Sorry, you it look crazy. It sounds like might be projecting, too. Like maybe she's jealous that this girl got a better job out of state, yeah. and she's only at this job because she has Nepo privilege. And she's no, like, she got another offer, too, somewhere else. Yeah, but maybe it wasn't as good. That's I don't think she she's projecting. It. I think she was just upset. Yeah, it's not like this girl. I mean, I think it just shows a girl is like good at what she does because she got another offer. Yeah. She's like, no, I like this. I think she's just mad at her cousin for being Nepo privilege to her. Yeah, yeah, but just don't ever call anyone. A, that's in what circumstance could you ever say, okay, well you're just a jealous bitch. Oh my god, so many. Yeah, I was gonna say I could think of some. Yeah, <laughs> that you would that you would verbally say that, to that someone else. to somebody. If it was well, like a not not a one off. If that happened, I would never say that. But if someone was consistently yes. like, if you're like, oh, I did this and this and this, and I'm so happy. Snap. It's like okay, cool. What's the difference between jealousy and envy again? There is like a, a oh. great jealousy difference. is is a disease envy is <laughs> no like you're jealous envy of something is melissa gorga's store there's something about what's deserving and what's not there is i've heard someone say it before and i'm know. like i need to remember that there is a difference you envy what envy means discontented longing for someone else's advantage jealousy means unpleasant suspicion or apprehension of rivalship that That's... did not help me at all <laughs> Um, it's about jealousy like, seems more negative. It's like yeah, envy that's is like the next damn, thing. Jealousy is usually thought to be more negative. Yeah, and envy is just like I envy. Oh, envy is a mix I of envy you real like nepo babies, envy but like I don't, I'm not jealous of them. But I think yeah, envy yeah. is when like, I'm like, someone's oh, I wish getting I had something. Money. I think envy is when uh someone's getting something that you think you also deserve. Envy. Right? I think jealousy. that's jealousy. Maybe that's jealousy. I think envy is like oh, oh. I envy that person because they got like they're doing well I think, yeah, but jealousy envy, would be like if you're like mad about it yeah like they bitter. don't deserve that yeah jealousy means they don't deserve it and envy, envy means they do but you also wish you had it yeah so like if it's someone like the bought, nice jealousy if someone bought a nice house you would be envious because and if someone was successful in business and they bought a nice house you're envious of them because or you could also be jealous if you're like they don't deserve that right if they won if they won the lottery or like they're just a trust fund kid and yeah they won like Aaron, okay Aaron has a yard I'm envious Yes. But I'm not yes. like jealous. She I'm doesn't like, deserve a yard. <laughs> yeah, I'm not like, <laughs> but I don't have a yard. Like, yeah. I'm just envious because I want a yard. Yes. Oh, that's a great example. Yeah. Cool. Jealous bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm envious that Carly has a gate. <laughs> that is true. Or, yeah, I think you're also a little jealous I have a gate. <laughs> Are you gonna build I'm a little them? more protected. Am I the asshole for making my daughter sleep in the backyard after what she did to our housemaid? My male 46 daughter, 16, Whoa. is. Oh, okay. He's 46. Okay. His daughter's 16. Uh, his daughter's 46. That was the same. <laughs> You're sleeping in the backyard. <laughs> um, is a high school junior. I noticed recently that she's been behaving in a bad manner, constantly commenting on other people's looks, belongings, calling them stuff that isn't cool, and just being insensitive. It's like she lost a filter or something because usually she's polite, but my wife suspected that our daughter's sudden misbehavior occurred after she started hanging out with new girls from the school. Basically the mean type and have picked up on their behavior. 
I've sat with my daughter and had many discussions about how her behavior has been negatively affecting everyone around her. Our housemate is the person most affected here, and my daughter has chosen her to be her target for her hair, clothes, etiquette criticism. She has complained about our daughter calling her offensive names like filthy and gross for (gasps) cleaning certain areas in our house. I took a stand and explicitly told my daughter I'd punish her if she ever said stuff like that to our housemate again. Last week, my daughter had a party to go to. Earlier that day, she called our housemaid filthy, so I grounded her by not letting her go to the party. She threw a fit and called our housemaid a liar, saying she never called her that. That was the end of it. Days later, my daughter came to me saying she couldn't find her iPhone after looking everywhere. She asked me to call her number, and I did. My wife and I were stunned to discover that the iPhone was ringing inside our housemaid's bag. I had a confrontation with her immediately, and she denied and cried, saying she never touched the phone nor had any idea how it got in there. I noticed my daughter calling her thief repeatedly, so I told her to stop and go to her room. I checked the indoor camera before continuing (gasps) the argument and saw my daughter place her iPhone inside our housemaid's maid's bag I knew I... this girl needs to be locked up <laughs> she needs to live outside lock her up I was livid I apologized to our housemaid and gave her the rest of the day off I then showed the video to my daughter and she was absolutely speechless I said what, what a she... dumbass how do you not know that your house is a fucking camera I in know. it I said what she did was immoral and straight up offensive to tamper with that poor woman's livelihood over a petty party she couldn't go to I told her she was grounded and will have to spend the night in the backyard she is a germaphobe but she cried (laughs) begging me not to make her sleep with the dirt insects and hot temperatures i refused to discuss it or i'd make it two nights my wife said i should go easy on her but i said calling people filthy and accusing them of stealing wasn't okay in fact it was the absolute worst i then went through with my punishments the reason I chose this punishment was because of the fact that my daughter says she's a germaphobe and uses this as an excuse to insult others' hygiene and appearance. Our backyard has d- dirt and bugs in it, and this kind of thing gets her uncomfortable. But other than that, the backyard is 100% safe. Question, um, in case people ask, why doesn't she clean up and do house chores as punishment instead? Because I've already tried this punishment before, and it didn't work because she deliberately stopped eating for days to get out of it and ended up in the emergency department for low blood pressure. So he would like to know if he is the asshole. No. Well, this this kid is fucked up. <laughs> to me, he, it's like giving, you know, when you like send kids to like bat, like you're yeah. being a bad kid camp. Yeah. yeah. It's like that, but nice. Like you just get to stay in your backyard. Yeah. I will also say <laughs> this girl is 16. Yeah. Maybe he didn't do such a good job raising this girl. Sounds like he's a rich guy. They got indoor know. cameras. They got to live in. You made. can't blame him. 100%, no, it though. sounds we like he know. does a really good job. Like him saying, like we've had all these talks with her, saying how these behaviors are not appropriate. And then, like, I think that the punishment of grounding her when she like was calling this woman bad, like, shows that he does a good job and like doesn't just let her off the hook. I just don't like. I don't think he's an asshole. I think his daughter's clearly a psychopath. Yeah, and, and she's a <laughs> nut. But the punishments have not been working. So like. Don't you have to try a different approach? Maybe like bring her to like a camp. No, no, no. Those <laughs> things are fucking crazy. Okay, yeah. send her away. Cadet Kelly. Yeah, <laughs> enlist her in the military. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be able to vote. Bye bye. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Have you seen that? There's like a video of like the guy talking about how they they kidnap you in the middle of the night. Yeah. It's cr- I knew a kid that did it, and he's like, isn't that what happened up. to Paris Hilton? Something Possibly. like that? Yeah. Wait, Wait at a like, camp? Ter- like they a should scared send her to the like, school camp? in Utah. There's like a th- <laughs> yeah, it's like a thing that rich parents do when their yeah. kids are just out of control that they kidnap you in the middle of the night. You Blue. think you're getting kidnapped. You get That's thrown what in a happened band. to my friend in high school. Yeah, and you just don't know until like a couple days later that like you're here for rehab. Like that, yeah. literally that happened to Paris Hilton. And and then it's just like like torture camp and you're, they're making you work all it's like holes. And they make you just like work <laughs> all like day. Sounds like that's what she needs. Eh, dude, but I know someone that went through that. And now he's like, there's like certain Fucked hours up. on the clock that he can't. Like no. if it's like 2.59, yeah. he like can't look at the clock. Like, I'm get, like, what the I would fuck? say like start with therapy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're the asshole for uh, making her sleep outside. But I do think you could have gotten a little bit more creative on a better punishment. <laughs> Lock her but, in the but, basement. Like, punishment is not the way. I think you need to like show her like demonstrate being a nice person and be make like, hey, why don't, you, why don't you give her five compliments why don't you go go to school today and like make three new friends and like make challenges that make her change her behavior i don't to become think a you person. think a girl huh? trying to frame her fucking 
housemaid is gonna say some you nice stuff. You think having her sleep in the dirt's gonna make her no? She'll like probably her, run away or make her be like, okay, fuck all of this. Now I'm gonna be yeah. Maybe even it'll more. be like okay, well, or she'll be like, I don't ever want to sleep out here again. Yeah, because she's mm-hmm. a German. I think uh, you, you think should he's giving threaten her. A her. Help. You should threaten her and say and say I'm gonna post this online. The video <laughs> of you. I'm gonna make a TikTok. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get fucking this. annihilated online. I'll blur you're out your face. Bitch. I won't say your identity, but this is out here. Yeah, well, I mean, now it's out here. So I don't know. I'm really disappointed in that daughter. That makes me, me really too. angry. It's pretty bad. I, there is also like you can only control so much of who your person, like who your child is. Like there's yeah. just a mix of DNA and stuff, and that's it. I mean, because he even said to her, he was like, you can't do that. Like, that's her whole livelihood. Like, you could have, she could have lost her job. Yeah. She's something like a privileged, like, rich girl. Definitely. Well, he said that she's not always been like this. She's hanging with the wrong crowd. Mm. Maybe they could, maybe she should go to public school. She sounds yeah. like she's probably in a private school. <laughs> oh, T. They should send her to a public school. Let her get roughed up in the locker room a little bit. Yeah. That would be, yeah. We're taking you out of your school. Yeah. Make her do the Alcatraz swim. <laughs> That might help. Alcatraz swim, yeah. swim from Alcatraz yeah. to San Francisco. That'll teach What did yeah. you think of that? Because we were talking about it yesterday. Yeah, like this, isn't it with sharks and stuff? It's like, well, it's, it's in shark infested water. Oh yeah, yeah. That has to be the most frustrating thing, though, if you I were a prisoner at that. Alcatraz, just looking at San Francisco, the city, in like the forties, <laughs> and hearing just people going da 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 da, everyone out enjoying the night, yeah, and you're yeah. just there at that water. You'd be like, I could swim that. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But now I think people have done it, but like no prisoner. No, there's a whole oh, yeah, there's a whole now. race. Yeah. But I wonder, no yeah, prisoner ever was made ever it. Able no, to I don't make think it. a prisoner ever escaped. Do you think because they like realized they had escaped, so they like caught them in the water, or they just died? I think they died in the water. Oof. Yeah, because they weren't fit enough. Like you have full on triathletes who can swim that no problem. But like, I saw a, like two older women. They probably are conditioned enough to do it. Okay. Would I be the asshole for telling my friend I don't like her presents? Presents as in like gifts, not presents. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I Honestly, I was wondering. Wait, I girlfriend know. or friend? What friend. Was friend. <clears throat> this is a relatively minor situation, I think, in comparison to other situations on the subreddit, but would appreciate some feedback from others on this. I, 32 female, have been good friends with H, 37 female, for nearly a decade. She's a great person, thoughtful, communicative, and supportive, and has been one of my closest friends. Our birthdays are several weeks apart, so over the last few years, we've had an informal tradition where we'll meet up for a birthday brunch or dinner between those dates and exchange presents over that time she has consistently gifted me a bouquet of flowers for my birthday each year and has told me because i'm not the type of person to buy them for myself that's why she does this on the other (laughs) on the other hand i spend time finding different presents for each year for her birthday that are more practical slash you i'm gonna butcher this word you Useful. U- utilitarian? Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> you Carly can't you, pronounce you useful. useful. <laughs> yeah, you fucking ass. Yeah. You sound it out, Carly. Useful. <laughs> <laughs> that Colleen Hoover. Uh, yeah. Utilitarian. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Shakespeare over here. Yeah. Useful. It's his useful. word. <laughs> A uh, practical utilitarian. For example, a set of pens for her planner slash bullet journal. We're very, we're both very type A. An insulated water bottle as she's a runner. Clothing items that cover our shared interests, etc. While I do appreciate getting a bouquet every year, I personally do not enjoy flowers and don't buy them for myself since I end up dying within a few days and a few types have started to irritate my allergies in recent years. I don't know if this is something I bring up to her at all given how minor and insignificant this is in the context of our overall friendship. I don't want to hurt her feelings, especially as she's done this for the past four to five years but it also bothers me a bit that she resorts to the same gift every year while i feel like i put more thought and effort into what i get for her do i bring it up do i bring anything up to her change my gifting change my gifting pattern so that it's more on par with what she does or just leave it alone (laughs) oh not even a real am i the asshole well it says would i be the asshole if she told her she's like should i like i don't know if she told her yeah, if, if she's asking, yeah. would I be the asshole if I? If I don't I... think so. If she did it in a nice way, if she was like, "Hey, like, thank you so much for the flowers." If she really didn't want them, and she could say those things, like, "I've developed a lot of allergies to flowers. Like, I just, I, I would, I don't want them." Yeah. Don't bring up the flowers. If you're a month out from your birthday, don't even bring up the flowers. 
just talk about the idea of giving gifts for people's birthdays and say like, oh, there's this I just think would be such a great gift if somebody got that for me for my birthday. Her friend's like, that's cool. Here's some flowers. Yeah, literally, yeah, it's that... 10 years in the making. She's getting flowers. Yeah. I think she needs to be direct. Like, hey, just yeah. want to let you know, like, I'm, I love our friendship. I love that you've gotten me flowers every year. It's true. I would never get flowers for myself. But that's because I don't really care about them. Yeah. <laughs> and they give me allergies. And I I would just love if we could try something different this year. Maybe get a little creative. <laughs> I would like you Anything, to be a little thoughtful. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I would, would just make it like just set the bar super <laughs> low for year one. And don't like there's no way this girl is going to go from getting flowers to like as creative as this first girl. Sure. Is. So like just, she's not even getting her thing crazy pens yeah. yeah like that's nice like, like just like thoughtful. herself on the yeah. Back yeah. Like, yeah yeah which Do like you... i oh sorry no it's okay keep talking I, I feel like it's the same as like everyone's love languages are a little different oh, yeah. so like you know it's like she's expecting her to kind of do what she does mm -hmm. but also like not everyone thinks that way and she's also been gifting you flowers for the past 10 years so maybe she thinks you really do like them yeah maybe she's like oh the yearly flowers but like uh, if that were me i'd be like again well i would feel so weird as the friend like give giving like if i gave aaron flowers every single year and she was giving me things that like i could use and like yeah. mean things i would feel so weird Don't wrong, I I love people... if you give me flowers and something else well, yeah that's <laughs> I, different I, love... I like giving yeah. people coffee table books like i mean that's sweet i mean yeah multiple times it's also like, but, like useful different ones. yeah it's useful it's decorative yeah and, like if, if you know they like them like you, you got me the roller coaster ever... tycoon crew neck that was amazing yeah. like that was a oh. great gift do you guys sometimes ever wish like it's been interesting making like a wedding registry and stuff and you're like it's it's weird and also nice that you get to write out all these things if people are gonna buy you something they know what to get yeah do you ever think like is it bad as a people don't do it though but for a birthday that you wish you could like put out a registry I like if like you're gonna get this. me something yeah. yeah get me something i actually will love yeah. and enjoy yeah. don't uh, i just don't i i feel bad sometimes sometimes like people have gotten me gifts and i'm like i don't need and i'm grateful for the gift so grateful no, that I, apology I tour to yeah, 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 everyone to seem like i is it's ungrateful like, okay, cool. but sometimes i've had some friends who just give me junk and i'm like <laughs> you didn't need to spend money on this like your good own hard money you didn't need to you could have texted patricia and go is there something matt wants and patricia has like a list Aww. of everything that like i kind of would want and sometimes i just feel bad for, but the thing is i'll always be grateful for the gift yeah it's like when you get but, it's literally like an avocado thanks <laughs> like i feel like there's always gonna be a moment when you're getting like for christmas yeah. it's like like oh yay socks when we were yeah. growing up Hi, I, love like, I mean yeah. one of our birthdays this is back in the 90s so there wasn't like online so basically all the gifts were basically either from toys r us or another toy store and so what my parents would do is like we would get all the gifts from like all you know 15 kids that came to the party everyone brings the 10 dollars gift or whatever and usually I didn't want any of them because no one it's impossible. like a ten dollar gift is like not that cool. So what we would do every year for my birthday is like, thank you so much. Put it in the pile. OK, that's 15 bucks. Thank you so much. <laughs> Put it in the pile. That's 10 bucks. Then we go to Toys R Us the next day, return all the gifts, get a gift receipt. And then I get like a hundred dollars. Damn. Damn. I, I follow this um, influencer. She has kids and it was like her son's birthday. And she was saying that they ask like the parents, like, just bring like ten dollars as the gift so that he can go and pick out his yes. own toy that's it's nice so yeah which i feel like that's like that's like the like, best i don't need like yeah. a ten dollar fire truck but like this eighty dollar sword from power rangers i'm <laughs> yeah. like no. yeah i'm like let's totally. let's get this so yeah. it's but it is nice when he gives someone if you give a someone a great gift i know what, they, what you got me was great what you got me was buddy great. You're so, your friendship is all i need <laughs> mike there's a part two there's a part two that arrives tomorrow oh oh is it the thing that we saw that you were like they don't get it yeah, you wouldn't. I don't think you would get it. They talked about it after, and it seems like they didn't get it. I don't know. They told you what it was? No, no, no. no, no. no. We were oh. just like, I don't know. And he was like, don't say anything. I was like, oh, we're not. It's just, oh. I just don't. I'm You'll excited. be like, whoa. Okay. I'm, like, we won't, I think. we won't get the impact of it. I don't even think you know what this, like. <laughs> yes, Maybe you text know. it to me and Aaron later. Sure. Like what it... Or maybe we could just group up at lunch and talk about it. Yeah, you go yeah, sit bye. in the corner and think about no, what you okay. did. But like, <laughs> I, my brother, for like, okay, the thing is like, I also, I love VHSs. I like collecting VHSs. And I wrote like a Christmas list. We do that in our family. We read the Christmas list. 
I, the thing is, I'm not trying to collect every VHS in the world, okay? <laughs> I like having a curated collection of movies that spark me joy. Mm -hmm. And my brother went out and bought, and like I had five VHSs I listed on my Christmas list that I want. My brother went out and bought me five VHSs of movies I didn't have on my list, nor movies that I even care or like. So then I had like just these five things, and it was like part of my Christmas gift, and I was like, I didn't, this isn't like... I told you what I wanted. Maybe he couldn't find them. Well, he, I think he realized he didn't read the list like oh. that well. But I had to like, there was a moment where I was like, You're I wasn't so trying upset. to be a bitch. Yeah. But because I, Christmas morning the whole week, I was looking at those four VHSs. I could tell it's a VHS wrapped up and I was so excited. I'm like, oh my God, Christmas morning, I'm going to get those <laughs> like, five year, VHSs I asked for. And I woke up, and it, it every VHS, it was just like driving Miss Daisy. So seven months ago, it's still burning them up. <laughs> and I, but the thing is, I realized I'm they, now I'm over thirty years old. I can have those conversations with like my brother, and I just want, and I had to go. I'm sorry, I have to bring this up. I'm gonna convert. Did you oh, sorry. not look at the Christmas list? And he was like, "Well, you wanted just the VHSs." And I go, "No, I listed out exactly what I wanted." And he was like, "Oh, we felt bad." But it wasn't, I was trying to make him feel bad. But Have I was you gotten just, those VHS since? No. I've bought some for myself, but no, no one's ever gotten them. Mm, I'm going to get you suits Can you send VHS? me the list? <laughs> suits. I'm going to convert it. Oh, no, yeah, we'll sorry. Get you, we'll get you the suits anthology on VHS. Yeah. But does okay, that seem like I was petty one? complaining about something that wasn't A there? little, but it's fine. Okay, no, sorry. I think, I think cut, it no, cut, cut it out. Cut it out. No, no, I don't no. want it. Ever validate his insecurities. Then we have to cut it. We're not cutting it out. Because anything else real. Okay, I'll just be a yes woman. Yeah, there we go. Know your place. Yeah. They can't oh, I have, yes. I have, I have, I wait, shoot. I have, you have a good one? Yeah, we've yes. only done four, so I'm like. I've been like, what? This show is sponsored by Lightly Fantastic. I think we can all agree today's show has been pretty fantastic. Some might even say lightly fantastic. <laughs> kind of like our favorite drink in the game these days, Truly Hard Seltzer. Truly is made with a hint of real fruit juice for a whole lot of refreshment. At just 100 calories and one gram of sugar, it's super light and endlessly drinkable. It's a flavor for every occasion, even celebrating when Mike knocks over the third camera. It's only happened once, but will we let it go? No. They have so many different flavors and flavor packs. They have a berry mix pack, a citrus mix pack, tropical mix pack, lemonade mix pack, punch pack, margarita, red, white, and true mix pack, vodka soda twist of flavor pack. Like they have so many different things, if not all, probably most of them. Again, they are so easy to drink. They taste like fruit and I highly recommend, especially a nice hot day at the pool or outside or wherever you find your enjoyment. Try Truly Hard Seltzer today and see what the Lightly Fantastic Life is all about. Please drink responsibly. Wait, did I do something wrong? No. Oh, okay. We've done five. Am I the <laughs> asshole? Am I the asshole? Did we? Oh, you did another one? Am I the asshole for wanting my partner to text me when he's coming home? I'm introverted, and my partner and I live in a very small house. Occasionally, he works late shifts, but won't text me if he is leaving early, and sometimes just shows up home unexpected when I'm enjoying myself at night. I enjoy these nights of solitude. Nothing to do with him. I just like having no one around, being able to walk around, do what I want, watch YouTube without headphones, listen to my music, have the lights on the way I like, do my chores in peace, have not have time to talk. Nothing major, really. Just me time. <laughs> He tells me I can do that whether he's here or not, which is somewhat true, but it's not the same as true solitude. It's bliss. <laughs> he says he's too busy to text at the end of his shift, and he's not always on his phone either. He says he shouldn't be in trouble for this, and that it's no big deal. I said it's a very small ask that would make me happy. I just want a warning if my solitude is going to end. So, am I the asshole? That's so interesting. I hell? totally relate to this girl. I mean, what? I, I like uh, solitude as well. Like, I come, if you're if you're having the just your time to yourself in your own house, putting the music that you want to on, you're just like walking around without a shirt on, whatever. Like, and you're just living your life. There is a difference if someone else is in the property with you. Like, there is a difference of being alone versus not being alone. And if she's like, oh, he's working till ten, I can like watch. Like, if you let's say you want to watch your favorite movie that like your partner doesn't really care about. <laughs> You know that you can watch it till 10 p.m. But then you put it on and at 
8.05, he walks in, you're like... Uh, I do kind of hear you on that. But like, it's what like, are you going to do if he texts you and is like, I'm on my way home? It's like, all right, I, cool, I'll, I'll readjust I think that's what like, she my wants. expectation of the no, night. No, I know, but I'll, like, how is it different? Because then she'll I'll, like prepare herself. Yeah, like, like, I'll okay, readjust my expectation of the night. I'll watch that movie tomorrow and I'll make yeah. dinner for both of us and that way I'm like less... Now I'm I'm going to like just prepare for the evening. Maybe I was just going to eat popcorn for dinner, but now I'll have... <laughs> popcorn. Uh, I'll make a meal for the both of us and it'll be nice. Apple has a new feature that they're putting out where it, you can get a, first of all, just do find my friends. You can get a notification when someone yeah. leaves or when someone arrives. You could just set a notification when you uh, leave work. I think it's just weird about it is like, where, what's, this is weird that she's asking. I would be. It if sounds TJ, like she's hiding yes, something. No, yeah, yeah. No. Like, what do you, you let TJ me know when you're coming? To me, I would be like, what are you doing? Yeah, yes. like <laughs> that. Like you're gonna be mad at yes. me. I see that coming into you. my home. She just wants to be like. Yeah, but I think like blasting Taylor Swift, eating ice cream, putting the lights on. Yeah, no, and I'd be around. like, I'd be like, okay, I'll just go into the bedroom. But it doesn't. Yeah, but not like everyone's she's, the same. It no, she like I understand it that. It just changes the vibe. But I'm just saying, like, when you say that to someone who doesn't care about the other side really they'd be like okay well that just seems shady a little bit does it seem shady the way i'm saying it well she is the asshole no way you think i think so i mean i I honestly don't think anyone's an asshole i I think all she wants like i think she could just be like hey just like text me when you're on your way home yeah i think if he doesn't do that that's like kind of annoying if that's what you want just you think he's the asshole he didn't even do anything (laughs) just text me when you're on your way home yeah but he didn't say he wasn't gonna no he had no that just sounds weird well will you text me when you're coming (laughs) home early like (laughs) huh that sounds like a like it's dude when you I don't know I just I like, kind of get it though like were, I don't want to be like surprised when you're home early because like I just want to be expecting it's just, you just can prepare your night differently like okay I'll do laundry tomorrow because he's not gonna be uh, home too late anyway and like it's fine but I want to you know if he's coming home early I'll clean the house <laughs> and I'll do the laundry and I'll make us dinner like you just can plan your night differently because that's what girls do. <laughs> I'm thinking that from my perspective. That's... She's got to do the dishes, <laughs> clean the lawn, do the laundry, <laughs> cooking dinner. I'm saying this from my perspective. I know, I know. It's just, it's just so funny you picked up on that. Like, I didn't even think. <laughs> no, I can't. I mean, like, it's a little dramatic. I understand the sentiment. Yeah. It's a little dramatic. Just send a little a text, suspicious. Guy, just send a text. Hey, babe, I'm off three hours early today. I'll be home. Okay. Yeah. Leaving early. Two words. No, I think, it's, early. I think it's a very easy thing to do. And he's an asshole for not doing it. But she didn't say, like, he won't do it. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah I did. think she did. She said he, he says he's just not on his phone and, and maybe yeah. he forgets. He's, he, he's no, too, he, it's two words. Yeah, but he's, you don't know what he does for work. What if he's, like, an ER nurse? And then he's, like, leaving work and he's like, oh, fuck, I obviously did not think to text you that I'm on my way home after a 12-hour shift. Text girlfriend. Leaving no. Early. I, no. <laughs> what was that, a second and a half? I think his excuses were, like, legitimate. Like, oh, I didn't even a think of it. A second and a half. I think they need Leaving to be early. used. I think this couple needs to get used to a little bit more of a better routine and exchange. It sounds a little early. But her just, like, already you're zipping over to Reddit. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 She's, like <laughs> she's putting on her robe. She's like, <laughs> what is he doing home? How old are they? Did it like say? 25, I think. Okay. Uh, she, they didn't say. Oh. But just... <laughs> I that would love is... to see what the people said. I just like when she was describing her night alone, I'm like, I completely understand exactly what she's expressing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm like that too. But if no one comes home, I'm not like, ugh. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but I think it's also me. because you got me. It does sound like they might be newer in the relationship where she feels compelled to like not be her truest self when well, he's they around. live together. But it might be new. They might have been re- like newly moving in together. Yeah, so not used to like the like, coming yeah. home and like being doing your weird like alone stuff with another person takes some time. I think if he was like, "No, fuck you, bitch. I'm. I don't owe you anything." That's, that's kind of what he's saying. I'm no, too she... busy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like he's busy at phone. work and it just slips his mind. When he's leaving, if he's leaving an hour early, how hard is it to just say? Well, you don't know what early. kind of day he had at work. I think it's like a valid. Aaron, it's a text. Yeah, I don't know. I see his side. I understand both, but I think it's like, like oh, sorry, say, I forgot. It wasn't he. He was like, I'm way too busy to care about you. But maybe that's how she perceives it. Like, let's say sure. TJ was just like, oh, if you guys are coming home early, just let me know because I'm going to be like on a phone call in the living room. I'll just go into the 
Like or I'm doing therapy in the living room. So. And I think it would be, v we are here for like five hours. I think there are multiple times where I'd be like, fuck, I literally forgot to text him and tell him. But you would text him. <laughs> well, yeah. What are the That's the point. This guy won't. But if TJ was saying, hey, text me when you're on your way home from work, if you are coming home early because of whatever. Yeah. Like, would I you think do it, it? Yeah. But I would also be like, huh? Yeah, but that's your relationship. Someone no, goes, I know. Listen, but that's like, you need to but tell I'm the me same as the guy. Yeah. I'd be like, what? Huh? I think he would be an asshole if he was like, no, because you're obviously doing something weird. No, yeah. <laughs> then he'd be like, like an asshole. I don't asshole. think that he did anything wrong. Yeah. I think he was just like, oh, like, sorry. I think I don't... he's doing something wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our first bite. <laughs> no, we're not fighting. <laughs> no, we are. <laughs> okay. Okay, Matt, what were you going to read? Put him up. Did you find just, it? Uh, is people are kind of like rehashing out her situation back to her, like in their in their own words yeah. like listen you need to tell me when you're coming home because honestly i'm happier when you are not here <laughs> so from now on you must tell me <laughs> when you are coming home to ruin everything is she deemed asshole or not the asshole yeah. she is the asshole you're asshole? the asshole That's you're asking him to warn you when he is coming home to his own home yeah. because you would really prefer if, if he, he would just stay there. at work <laughs> yeah. how do you think that would make him feel that's not oh, that's such a bad read it's not that she he should be staying at work longer it's just there's a you're a different version of yourself when you're completely alone than when there's someone else there it's not better or worse it's just different and preparing that this early in the relationship i think is you valid. don't know how long they've been together for okay you're right <laughs> maybe you're the married. asshole he lives there with you it's not like it's your place and he's turning up unannounced sometimes you literally both live there and should not have to pre-announce to each other that you might walk through the door an hour earlier than you normally would. There's like this whole... I think if she approached him where she's like, hey, babe, like I'm having some me time tonight, going to take a bath and really decompress. It would mean a lot to me if you could just let me know if you're coming home early or if you, what are you doing? do come home early. Like, could you just be mindful of like my space? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just picturing whatever it is this woman is doing. No, I know. In her mean time. Yeah, so, like, yeah. Just say you're watching fucking YouTube yourself. Well. Yeah, that's just it. Just eat raw cookie she, it, sounds like, <laughs> it sounds like she's just trying to be... YouTube with no headphones. <laughs> yeah. because, because, because she's mindful of that she lives with someone else in a small place sure. and putting on the headphones is like a concession to be... <laughs> Uh, she sounds like an compromise. iPad kid. <laughs> like, like, All right, it's just like Coco Melon. Coco Melon. <laughs> 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 like, like she's just like already like, like you yeah, could have told me <laughs> coming home early. <laughs> she's just like ugh. She's just in a diaper. Yeah. yeah. Just, <laughs> Oh, she's just scaling the walls. Yeah. Being crazy. Dude, a coughing iPad kid. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Uh, uh, I have about. another one. Oh, oh slay. Um, am I the asshole for not wanting to? Oh, am I the asshole for not carrying my wife's purse? <laughs> I, a 32-year-old male, work fully remote, and my wife, a 30-year-old female, works two to three days in an office. On days where she commutes in the morning, I wake up early with her, make us French press coffee while she gets ready, and I walk her to the ferry, which is approximately a five-minute walk, and then approximately a five to ten-minute wait for the ferry on boarding. On our work, on our it's walks. Cute. I know it's she, a nice morning. Yeah, you live near a ferry. And like yeah. cool, the French no, press like call. So, I don't know, so cute. cute. Yes. Well, get this, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, where is it going? Um, I just oh thought this one was just interesting. On our walks, she insists that I carry her purse, saying that her bag is heavy, that she has to carry it all day, <laughs> and that if I carry it on the walk, it would mean a lot to her. I told her that she's putting me in an awkward situation, where I need to. Either be A, carry her purse, which I would prefer not to do, or B, have an argument first thing in the morning because I refuse to carry her purse. Maybe I'm just stubborn, but to me, carrying my wife's purse and then standing in line with all the co the commuters waiting to board the ferry as I hold my wife's purse for her commute into work is a little bit 
emasculating oh, screams, oh, insecurity. Yeah. screams insecurity. Oh, like if I saw that in line, I'd be like, that's so cute. Yeah, she I'd be on like, the other what hand, a good man. She yeah. on the other Hold hand. On. Did he say emasculating? Yes. Yeah. It is the opposite of emasculating I to agree. be a strong person a and hold king. something for a woman. Agreed. Yeah. Is the well, opposite. Well, she's carrying all her other bags. It's the least you could do. Uh, she, on the other hand, thinks it would be a nice gesture, and the fact that I find it embarrassing for me is irritating because I should a care more about what she thinks than what other people think. Oh God! This and b divorce him. comfortable in my own skin and not feel emasculated or humiliated. Divorce, Why are we like him. embarrassed Damn. to carry a purse? Like, grow up! It started off so good. Yeah, yeah. I was like, like a fairy so tale. I feel like I was reading a book. I know. I mean, I, maybe some... I I kind of read halfway through when I was looking oh. at it earlier, so I, I thought it was going to get a little bit more. Well, no, I think it's just. I see. Um, but it, this was an everyone sucks situation. What? No. I, I think mean, it's... she could probably probably take out a few things from the purse. It doesn't. I don't know where she's working that she needs a heavy purse. Through, no, I think day. that she is carrying like a backpack That's or something, thinking. and then is like, "Oh, can you just hold my purse because this is heavy?" Was that the case that she has another bag that she's carrying? No, she said she just doesn't want to carry it. Or maybe it's a purse it around bag that has like but a yo, laptop. She only works. Here, get this. This is what kind of is a little annoying. Two to three days out of the week. He works no, full. in office. In office, exactly. Yeah, but then she probably does the other days remote. From home, yeah. Cool. yeah so she doesn't said... need to get on the ferry and all this stuff. For two days out of the week, yeah. But I don't know. But the... she's acting like it's a purse. I, I just, I'm... dude, you're a fucking man. Help uh, your I know. wife. Yes, yes. Yeah, if your wife or girlfriend or whoever is like, it would mean a lot <laughs> if you carried this. Like, just do it. If I like... I will just Five like hand walk. TJ myself. Be like, can you hold this for a sec? Yeah. And he's like, yeah. okay. That's yeah. what guys he was are like, for. Oh, guys are just like, fucking... I can't be seen with this. Yeah. That's the that's the problem. Too, what that... what does this purse look like? <laughs> it's it probably ma- cute. It, it could be the pinkest, girliest fucking purse. If you're a man, you don't. F- oh, it's emasculating. You're worried about the other commuters judging you for holding a person with your own yeah. wife's needs. But they yeah. live you're near a, a ferry. If you're making a, a French ferry, press every they're... morning and taking a ferry, like, you got a cute bag. They probably live yeah. on a small island. There's a lot of longshoremen who know the whole town and are going to tease it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think oh, it's annoying. there we are. Bury the ferry. <laughs> Bloody the ferry. I think it's they... annoying the reasoning. Yeah. He's like, I just don't... It's so emasculating. You're, like, if you had a different just... reason, like, yeah. I have shoulder problems yeah. or, like, she asks me to do things all the time you're and it's annoying. You're putting the judgment of strangers above the needs of your wife that yeah. is not yeah, that's insane. that's just that is a mask that's We're, emasculating yeah yeah you care about what other commuters think about you holding a bag <laughs> i know your wife's needs i don't think he's the asshole you don't oh, think he's I the think asshole? He oh wait i do think he's the you asshole you don't think she's the asshole she's no. fine she sounds pretty normal i would love to read these comments oh everyone sucks i said everyone sucks can you read like i don't know why she needs comments. so much shit in her purse that i like wh- Maybe, maybe, well, too, maybe she probably I'm has like her laptop. Yeah, her. I'm imagining she's she calling like it a purse. It's probably like a big, like her bigger bag, bag yeah. with like a laptop. Then and if it's stuff. her work bag, then a hundred percent. Yeah. But maybe she may just have like a big, like side, like a bo- yeah. crossbody bag. Probably also, like if it was a tiny little cute purse with just like her phone and wallet, she probably wouldn't need someone else to hold it. Right. Yes. It's probably a work bag, like, and yeah. he's calling it a purse because he wants to sound more right. Okay, this one has uh, everyone sucks here. This one has 21,000 upvotes. And they quote it. She insists that I carry her purse, saying that her bag is heavy and that she has to carry it all day. Insisting is rather strong. If it's so heavy, I don't understand how she manages for the rest of the day. Okay. (laughs) Standing in line with all the other commuters waiting to board the ferry as I hold my wife's purse for her to commute into work is a bit emasculating and humiliating. (laughs) This is a bit fragile. (laughs) Yeah. Like, yeah, he sounds like he's like an Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson, like beta cuck. Oh, I'm not holding your purse. I'm a man. Like get, get real. Yeah. That's so embarrassing. Yeah. It's hot holding women's bags. Yeah, I think yeah. I, they're basically say everyone sucks because she is insisting that he do it. Because she used to carry it around. Oh, my God. I bet you she wasn't, and that's just how he wrote yeah, it. Yeah, he probably right. wrote she it like, like that. Hey, would you mind holding my yeah. bag? It's really heavy. And she literally said, he didn't he write, it would mean a lot to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's not insisting. Really that's like, nice. here's my need, like a need I have that yeah. would mean a lot. <laughs> not like, you need to hold my bag, bitch. Like, go to the ferry. You know I've never been on a ferry. <gasps> really? They also might live in New York. There's so many ferries yeah. in New York yeah. from Brooklyn and New Jersey. And You can I take love... a ferry? Uh, I've well, done it many a, times. The, uh, I've been, oh, I've been on the, 
was it the Staten Island ferry? Yeah, that the one's... orange one. I've been on that, but that seems more like a big boat. No, there's like a commuter ferry that you can take from. We've taken it. Uh, Hoboken. I've done that a few times. Jersey oh, City I guess I've we've done the Brooklyn one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Brooklyn. Is Brooklyn the Montauk one. to Block Island? Is that a ferry? If are you getting on a boat between two? I places? just want. Call, I want to be on. Actually, I consider it a ferry if there's cars on it. What? Oh, interesting. That's I've never heard of that in my life. What? A ferry with cars? Are you shipping How shit do... to fucking Europe? No, you're just getting into no, the get, island. Getting on to yeah, uh, I... see that's what in my brain I think a ferry is. Everything else is just kind of like a short boat ride. Like, yeah, that's what a ferry is. The New York ferry is like well, t- you can I mean, even going take to the from... vineyard is like an hour and a half. People put cars onto boats. Yeah. Uh-huh. A lot, yeah. Dude, I think they that in my in brain is what a ferry I, I is. I've never even they, seen they, that. It's like it's almost like a bridge in the boat. Like how you, many you cars can they put on this? Like twenty four, yeah. twenty five. I think what? it was like <clears throat> isn't it like a Balboa Island in Orange County? I'm pretty sure I went there with like my friend and his yes, sister. Yes, they yeah. actually just they just uh, stopped the ferry. Oh well, it just too many. They were business. loading cars on when we got so on. The guys the, sold it. That one. Yeah, they load cars. Well, it's another thing we can add to our list of what we need to do. What? Go on a ferry? Put you on a ferry with cars. I can drive my car into a boat. That's always like yeah. in a in a hor- in like a disaster movie. It's like we need to get onto the ferry, and then like the uh, people are getting their cars onto it. The people will drawbridge. literally like commute and put their car on mm-hmm. a ferry and take it off and drive to work. That sounds so un like, unreasonable. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it very popular slap. up big in slap. like Do you stay uh, in the Washington car? and stuff. No, you like get in the off. San Juan yeah. Islands, I feel like there are a lot of ferries. Yeah. Hmm. Can we like go to San Juan Yeah, because we gotta go to 10 Things I Hate About You school. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I need to pee. Same. I do too. And I'm hungry. Great. Me too. So, All right, well, we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Good Influences. And lo- am sorry. I the... Not to interject. Would love your opinions on this coming home early text thing. Because I feel like... I feel like, yeah. yeah, that is a good, like, spicy split we had kind of going on. So we would love your input. And hey, if there's a really great idea or subject that you would like us to do on this lovely podcast we call Good Influences, comment down below and please leave a review, share it online, mm-hmm. send it with your friends, draw some fan art of us. We'd love to see that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, thank we'll you very much. You we love week. you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.